Niggas call me blooders just like T out here. Let's get it. I was be calling phone the phone, say I don't be out here. L. Catch him, knock his noodles back. Just don't tweak out here. Phone them sliding late night, honey. Ain't no sleep out here. Alright, what is good y'all? Today I'll be showing you guys some of the best dribble moves for um usually guards. Oh, I will do a center one in the future because I do have a stretch in the making. But as of now, I will be showing you um, the SIGs I have on right now. These are perfect for being a demigod at park, getting all types of ankle breakers. As you can see here, it's easy to combo up with these. They're pretty fast and quick. And um, they're really easy to create um, a shot with it. If you're a shot creator, you could hit like this easy rhythm dribble. You could speed boost off both ways with it. See me greening from um, damn near half. And um, the step back is pretty good. Um, the one that I have on right now too. Hesitation, all these size ups I have. I will have some alter, not alter, alternates. Um, alternatives. That's what I meant to say. But I will have some alternatives to some of these moves if you guys don't like really like them, or you're like you're not comfortable with like maybe how far the behind the back goes. So let's go ahead and uh, cut to the chase and. Let me go ahead and leave my mic cord so I can show you guys these strip moves. I don't know why it's not uh, normal one, but Pro 3 is the best one as of now. You can see he does that quick crossover. I think um I've been using the same one for a while. This one will get you the the animations of the court. The moving crossovers that you can see. The behind the back, I either go Pro 3 or Pro 6. Pro 6 is more of like the 17 move everybody used to be on, but Pro 3 is probably better best for rim running getting open for a shot pro six it's probably better for getting like for a shooter i would say like because you want to get into that step back animation it gets you like a lot of space or if you don't want to like get ripped so easily you won't lose a ball as much with that one spin there's really no other spin that you could do that's bad it's the escape spin that most um guards use today nobody uses any different one because there's really no other better one hesitations i go with pro 5 it'll show you the step back right there he bounces pretty far with that so that's gonna get you a shot pretty much every time is a play sharp play shot whatever you are on right now and most of these are elite so if you're not um a playmaking build this video is probably not for you and um i have elite 18 right now so the best of the dribbles I would say are elite 18 right here you could speed boost out the first two behind the backs and then the rest um you could probably use that to go into your combo these are all right right here but the best ones are gonna go um to elite 18 and um pro six all right for moving size up it doesn't really matter for these but this is probably the best one which is pro seven he does this little crossover not too much explaining to talk about there park size up he actually does like a normal size up here nothing crazy besides that pullback and packages for size ups so um pro 3 simple best one you get really fast um dribble animations you get that little escape right there you could do a glitch out of that i'm not sure if it's still in the game but it's been in since the beginning um if it's still not patched and um double hesitations um is Kemba walk um this and the kobe under the legs and chris paul that's probably just good for breaking ankles if you want to do the combo i said um ty lawson so between the legs is trey young which is a new one this year um these are also pretty good but i like trey young the best because it's really good for space creating if you want uh ankle breakers go with jamal crawford brandon jennings if you want to be able to combo pretty good or like straightforward speed boosting moves like this one right there you could boost to the right after and um he's he does other ones like that which are pretty quick so yeah jamal crawford is pretty slow but that's pretty much just for um ankle breakers and trey young straightforward look at all the space he creates with the first move it's probably good if you're a play shark and um the last one i would say that matters is a double behind the back which is going to be Stephen Curry or Jamal Crawford. The other ones are pretty basic. They just do something like the normal one one. So basically these are the only two that like have any difference. Jamal Crawford, ankle breakers like usual. 
Stephen Curry, you would expect that to create a lot of space. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped in some way. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. It's free. Put my mind to this shit. Goddamn. Cancel out my ex. I put a line through that bitch. I like all my asses with two lines.